First off, the main news is that Russia has expanded its anti-terrorist military action in Syria. This morning, we used ships from the Caspian flotilla. Four warships fired 26 missiles, hitting 11 targets. Civilians were not affected. The results of the strikes showed the effectiveness of rockets being fired from long range, approximately 1,500 kilometers. Well, you heard the details for yourself there. That was Russia's defense minister speaking, meeting with uh, President Vladimir Putin just a little earlier on today. Artist Daniel Hawkins with me in the studio now to discuss the developments. There's been a lot coming through in the last uh, uh, hour or so, Dan. But first of all, tell us about that meeting. Put some more details on it for our viewers there between the defense minister Shoigu and Putin earlier on and those announcements that were made this morning. Certainly, uh, it's really ratcheting up the operation now against ISIL in Syria, isn't it? Absolutely, uh, Kevin. Well, the details we have, as we heard there, uh, uh, this operation has been launched from a uh, Russian Navy in the Caspian Sea. Mm. Uh, there's four vessels, according to Defence Minister, that have launched uh, at least 26 missiles, uh, targeting a total of 11 terrorist positions. These are, as we said earlier, uh, high-precision, laser-guided, television-guided uh, missiles. And they've been launched from a distance of almost 1,500 uh, kilometers away and according to defense minister uh, they all successfully hit those targets and this really marks a an escalation in uh, in this conflict of course there's three theaters of war ultimately in the air on ground and in the sea we know russian troops uh, according to the mod will not be going in on the ground mm -hmm. they already have launched airstrikes uh, this means that that third uh, operational theater has now been opened in this fight against mm -hmm. isis so really uh, some really interesting news here and a lot more to, well, talking of interesting news a lot more news coming in today a lot more uh people using the word cooperation. Russia certainly calling for cooperation. There's been an interesting turn of events uh, that we're hearing now that uh, China has said, uh, it's, this is yet to be officially confirmed, but China is saying it's ready to join the anti-ISIL uh, operation in Syria. And we're also hearing that Iraq, it hasn't done it officially, um, but uh, that uh, Iraq defense committee chairman uh, saying that they want to see a bigger role for Russia than the Americans and uh, maybe airstrikes against Islamic State on their territory too. Now that hasn't been officially called for yet but it's certainly something that's being uh, mooted around today. Cooperation seems to be the watchword doesn't it? Um, Putin says Hollande is suggesting as well, French President Hollande suggesting an alliance uh, uh, against Assad as well. Um, the latest we hear is that uh, Putin is saying that the calls have been put out to these various alliances, these various people that could cooperate. They're waiting for the calls back, but certainly a lot more talk about that today. Absolutely. Well, Putin has made it clear from the very start that any, uh, any coalition uh, aimed at fighting back ISIS will not simply function without the cooperation of states uh, within the region of, the Tur of Turkey, of Saudi Arabia, of Iran, ultimately Iraq, of course, which is facing its own very difficult uh, battle against ISIS. So as we say, details still sketchy coming in here. Uh, but certainly, uh, if this information is correct and we can see a joint front between uh, the Russian military, uh, the uh, Iraqi army, Iraqi government, and also now we're hearing uh, China. Also, the, uh, those border uh, issues with the Russian air jets accused of violating Turkey's airspace, we've had... Yeah, there's been development there. You're right, Dan. Um, uh, Sergei Shoigu saying that they're uh, coordinating work with their Turkish partners so that no further um, accidental incursion incidents, as we saw uh, over the weekend, will happen again. So it looks like they're certainly working together to try and avert any potential problems there. Interesting, Sergei Shoigu also said today they're discussing with their American partners, again, they're waiting for a response, uh, details of joint work providing security in Syria. So again, this all going back to more cooperation and a united front against ISIL. Now, it looks like, looks like it's heading that way, doesn't it? Especially if China comes on board, of course. Absolutely. I mean, this has been on, on the table of discussion for, for quite some time now, and there's been a lot of back and forth uh, uh, diplomatic negotiation between the US, which obviously has its own military operation in the air, uh, largely in western Syria, and Russia operating in eastern and northern Syria, as we saw yesterday in Idlib province and uh, over just uh, further... Uh, further west of Palmyra. So certainly if these do manage to coordinate, that will certainly uh, have a, a large impact on uh, beating back those ISIS militants. Russia still adamant, of course, there will be no uh, ground operation, but increasingly Russia is uh, such a kingpin here in linking this whole operation together against ISIL in Syria, isn't it? And maybe in Iraq now, if that uh, official call comes forward to Russia later on today, it, it, it may well do. It's certainly been vaunted that it might happen uh, to officially uh, request uh, Russian help, Russian airstrikes on Iraqi territory against ISIL.